Hi, this is Mahesh Ravi and in this video, I'm going to show you how did I make this render of a Nintendo Game Boy. So there are a couple of cool techniques that I've used in here and this image is inspired from an image that I saw in Instagram a couple of days back. It was an awesome render which inspired me a lot and I wanted to try out how to make this with the simplest of geometry as possible. So let's get started with that. So we are in Cinema 4D right now, and I'm going to start with a with a cube, reduce the size of it, and I will roughly block the size of a Nintendo Game Boy. So we have this right here like this. Okay, I think this works pretty nicely. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to display and go right shading. I will increase the segments a little bit. So I'm going to change this to 4 four and four in all the axes so we can see the number of segments are a little high here i'm going to turn on the fillet to make the edges a little rounded i'll bring down the fillet radius to maybe 10 so i can get a shape like this and bring down the scale of this a little small here and i'll duplicate this by clicking on alt on your keyboard and dragging in the axis that you want you're creating a duplicate of this stuff so to create the screen i'm going to go switch back to the um, top view i'm going to duplicate the cube that we just created earlier by pressing ctrl c ctrl v so cube is created i just scale it so that it creates a screen space just like this so we have a screen like this here. I'm going to just lift it up a tad bit. So we have a shape like this. right? What I'm going to do now is I'm going to create a boole operator. So let's go here and click on boole. I'm going to add the cube into it to cut the shape of the screen on the top of our Game Boy. So we have the shape of the screen right here. You can also go here and maybe reduce the size of the screen if you want. Yeah, I think this looks pretty decent right now. So we're going to create the buttons, the play buttons. So I'm going to again duplicate the same cube once again. I'll click Alt, drag it in the direction. Maybe bring it like that. Okay, we can see approximately a shape of the play button but I think the fillet value is too high for this so we're gonna go back to the cube and reduce the fillet to maybe five yeah so that looks pretty good we can create it like this so this is good enough I'm gonna duplicate this once again so we can create a the movement controllers here so let's go to the cube let's go to coordinates make sure that it's at 90 degrees and we'll move it to center it so let's go to the top view and let's place it exactly in the way that we want it so we have this and right now we have the controller in here so we're selecting the cube and let's move it to the position that we wanted so it seems pretty cool here so now what we're going to do is we're going to create the action buttons so we're going to go to the object panel and create a cylinder so we have a cylinder right here let's go to the caps and add a fillet right here so we have the fillet here we can reduce the fillet radius and we can also bring down the radius of that button so we have an action button like this let's bring out the you know, reduce the global scale of that button and that's good Let's position the button from our top view. So I'm going to do this and let's duplicate that. Let's position it somewhere here. So I think we have our setup made, right? So everything looks pretty decent in here. So we have our basic structure of um, our Nintendo Game Boy. So we have it and let's move it. Like it, but let's create a screen also. So we'll go here and create a plane that we can use as a screen. So just bring down the scale of it. So 
So we have every component that defines our Nintendo. We have to make our batteries um, at the front. So I'm going to take the cylinder. I'm going to duplicate that. Hold, drag it in this direction. Right. So we have it right here. Let's increase the height of it a tad bit. Okay. This is good. And let's move it a bit to the side. We have. Let's duplicate again so that we can we can have like a very interesting shape on the top axis. Let's bring it up. Let's reduce the height of it. And I'll keep it here like this. And we're gonna copy the battery, control C, control V, and uh, just rotate this and keep it in the ground like this. So we have um, all of this in here. Let's add some textures and let's add some lighting. So the first thing that I'm going to do is to create a lighting setup. For that, let's create a ground. So I'm going to go here, click on floor. So it creates a floor here. So once we have the floor, let's go in here and create a physical sky. So we have a physical sky in here. Let's change the timer location to maybe Okay, so 5 p.m. So that's gonna work pretty nicely. Let's take a quick render and see how it is coming. Okay, it's not bad, but there's too much of shadow right now. So let's go here and let's deviate that in another direction. So let's go to this and let's take a quick render. So it's at 9 a.m. It's looking pretty decent. So we can keep it like this. We have this, the physical sky right now, and we have the shadows and everything set. So we're gonna go to material, create a new material. And let's add it to the console. So we have materials added in here. Um, we can add some material here as well. So I'm gonna just I went here and I changed the render to a physical render so that I could enable depth of field in the physical camera. Now, after coming here, I went to the camera. I played around with the angle. So I chose a tele lens and I just played around with the composition. So it was looking like this. And then I chose a focus point of the battery and went to the physical object and reduced the aperture value to 0.2 to create a very shallow depth of field. So that's basically it. It's a very, very simple process how we made this. And I hope this short video was useful for you. Try this out and I'll see you soon with the next video. Take care. Bye.